I wish you could smell my kitchen today because it is so beautiful and aromatic. And that's because I'm cooking one of my favourite Indian recipes, chicken biryani. Now, there are a couple of steps to this recipe. And the first one is to get the spice basmati rice on and cooking. I've given you all the details for that. Then you'll need to cook two sliced onions until they're brown and soft. Now you'll need a heavy based fry pan, melt a tablespoonful of ghee, and to that add a stick of cinnamon, some cardamom, a pinch or two of saffron, and four cloves. Stir that around so that the spices get warm and release their beautiful perfume. After a few minutes, add one whole chopped onion. I've also made a paste of ginger and garlic. That goes in. And a whole chilli. Now I've left it whole so that it'll give us a lot of flavour, but not so much heat. And another good stir. Now we add a kilo of chicken thigh. No need to brown that. Some yoghurt. A couple of fresh bay leaves. A little bit of salt. Give that a stir before you pour in some saffron and turmeric water. Bring that to the boil, put the lid on and let it cook right through. It should take about 20 minutes. This dish is cooked twice and to do that you'll need a casserole dish with a tight fitting lid. Into that I've put half the cooked rice and half the onion and just scattered some coriander and some mint over the top. Now I'm going to put in the chicken which has cooked right through. Put in all of the liquid as well but leave out the chilli at this point. What we're doing is effectively layering this dish. Over the top of the chicken goes the second half of the rice, the final layer of onions, then put the lid on and into an oven 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. You can download this recipe from our website and when you do, you'll also have instructions for making a beautiful, refreshing cucumber raita which goes perfectly with my chicken biryani. When the chicken and rice have absorbed most of the juices, it's done. So spoon it into a nice bowl and then my final flourishes are some golden sultanas, a few pistachio nuts and then, if you've still got some in the garden, a few pomegranate seeds, just like that. A few leaves of coriander on top and that's it. Perfect for a dinner party with friends. Mm -hmm.